Hi, I'm Dave Early, and I'm excited to talk to you today about especially the mercy and grace of God. Let me give you the big context. The context is justice demands punishment. God is just. That's who he is. He's righteous. He's got to do the right thing. We've sinned. We've broken the law. Justice demands punishment, separation, death, hell. That's bad news. But love took our place. Because of love, Jesus died on the cross, taking our sin, our shame. He took our death, our hell, our separation from God. He loved us enough to do that. Mercy, it fits right with love, and it's what withholds punishment from us. It keeps us from getting the punishment we deserve. Grace provides the blessings we don't deserve. We deserve hell. Mercy says, no, you're pardoned. You don't have to experience hell. Grace says, not only that, you get to become part of God's family. You get to go to heaven. That's the grace of God. Getting the good stuff you don't deserve, the mercy of God, is not getting the bad stuff you do deserve. Well, mercy motivates forgiveness. It's what prompts God to forgive us. And the scripture says so many beautiful things about the mercy and the forgiveness of God. Psalm 85, 2, it says, The forgiveness of God, the mercy of God, covers all of our sins. It doesn't leave any out. It covers all of them. They all are touched by mercy. Isaiah 38, 17, The forgiveness, the mercy of God, causes God to hide our sins behind his back. That's a way of saying he doesn't see them. They're no longer affecting him. Psalm 103, 12, it says, God removes our sins as far as the east is from the west. Where is that? Nowhere. There's no, 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 there's no finding it. You can't find our sins once God removes them. Isaiah 44, 22. Uh, the forgiveness, the mercy of God blows our sins away like God blowing away smoke, like the wind blowing away a cloud, like on a cold day when you see your breath blowing, uh, that, that rapidly disappearing. That's how our sins are. They just disappear before God's mercy. Micah 7, 18. It says, God tramples our sins under his feet and... He throws them into the depths of the deepest sea where no one can find them again. Jeremiah 31, 34, God functionally forgets our sins. He remembers them no more. Now, God's all-knowing. All he knows our sins, but he chooses to no longer treat us like we have sinned. This is the mercy of the forgiveness of God. If forgiveness is received, you get this happening to your sins when you receive it through the confession of your sins. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Proverbs 28 says, If you cover your sins, you can't prosper. But blessed are those who uh, confess and renounce their sins. The word confess means to admit, okay, I have sinned. Acknowledge, it, 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 I did it, it's wrong, agree with, God, I agree with you, it's wrong, it should be punished. When you have that attitude, when you confess your sins, the forgiveness of God goes into effect. The, the sin is removed, God no longer treats you like a sinner, but he treats you like a son, and you receive the mercy and the forgiveness and the grace of God. Thank God for his mercy. If it wasn't for his mercy, we wouldn't be talking today. We would all be experiencing eternal separation from God in hell. You haven't received the mercy of God. You haven't received the forgiveness of God. Oh, please do so today. Admit your sins. Acknowledge that they're wrong. Agree with God about that they deserve to be punished. Confess your sins that you might receive the forgiveness that God has chosen to make available to us. 
I'm Dave Early. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow we're going to talk more about the forgiveness of God. You can follow us on Facebook or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.